8th October. Welcome to today's audio devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, Think Like a Servant. In Philippians 2.5, Paul calls believers to have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, a mindset rooted in humility and servanthood. Jesus, though he was God, humbled himself and took on the form of a servant, Philippians 2 and 7. To follow in his steps, we must experience a mental shift that aligns our thoughts and actions with true servanthood. This involves more than just outward acts. It demands a deep internal change in our attitude towards God, others and even ourselves. Number one, real servants are self-forgetful. Being a servant starts with letting go of self-centered thinking. True humility as C.S. Lewis famously put it, is not thinking less of yourself but thinking of yourself less. Servants are focused on others, constantly looking for ways to meet the needs around them. When was the last time you emptied yourself for someone else's benefit without expecting anything in return? Jesus modeled this perfectly when he washed his disciples' feet, an act that demonstrated the complete selflessness of his love, John 13, 1-17. This mindset means we put others first, willingly setting aside our own needs and desires for the good of those we serve. It is only when we stop focusing on ourselves that we truly see the needs of others. This is the essence of self-forgetfulness, not diminishing our worth but prioritizing others. Number two, real servants don't use God for their purposes, they let God use them. Servants don't manipulate their service for personal gain or recognition. Instead, they allow God to use them for His divine purposes. Self-denial is at the core of this kind of servanthood. Jesus repeatedly taught his disciples to deny themselves, take up their cross and follow him, Matthew 16, 24. The focus is not on what we can get from God, but on how we can be used by God for his glory. We can measure the true servant heart by how we react when others treat us like servants. When you are overlooked, unappreciated, or taken for granted, how do you respond? Real servants don't demand recognition or fairness. They serve because their goal is to please God, not man. In Matthew 25, 40, Jesus says, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. True servants embrace the opportunity to serve without expectation of reward or praise. Number three, real servants think like stewards, not owners. Servanthood goes hand in hand with stewardship. Everything we have, our time, talents, and resources, comes from God. We are not the owners of these blessings, but stewards who are responsible for how we use them. Servants recognize that they are merely caretakers, entrusted with God's resources to fulfill His purposes. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 4.2 that the primary requirement of a steward is faithfulness. God expects us to be trustworthy with what He has given us. This means using our gifts, finances, and time in ways that honor Him and advance His kingdom. How are you handling the resources God has entrusted to you? Are you using them to serve others and build up the body of Christ? Or are you hoarding them for personal gain? Number four, real servants focus on their own responsibilities, not on what others are doing. One of the greatest challenges in servanthood is resisting the temptation to compare ourselves with others. Real servants are not concerned with what other servants are doing. They are too focused on fulfilling their own assignments, 
Comparison breeds jealousy, competition, and discontent. It distracts us from the work God has called us to do and creates unnecessary divisions in the body of Christ. Jesus addressed this issue with Peter in John 21:22, when Peter asked about John's future. Jesus replied, What is that to you? You must follow me. Real servants are not sidetracked by what others are doing or not doing. They are focused on their own calling, trusting that God has a unique plan for each of his children. When you're busy serving God, you don't have time for jealousy, criticism, or complaining. Number five, real servants base their identity in Christ. A servant's identity is not based on their status, title, or accomplishments, but in their relationship with Christ. Knowing that we are unconditionally loved and accepted by God allows us to serve from a place of security. We don't have to prove our worth through our service, nor do we seek validation from others. Our identity is firmly rooted in Christ and this gives us the freedom to serve without fear of judgment or failure. Jesus himself modeled this truth. In John 13, just before washing his disciples' feet, the Bible says that Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. John 13:3. Because Jesus was secure in his identity, he was able to take the position of a servant. Likewise, when we understand who we are in Christ, we can serve humbly and joyfully, even in the most menial tasks, the joy of serving. Finally, real servants discover that true joy and fulfillment come from serving others. Jesus said, the greatest among you will be your servant, Matthew 23:11. In God's kingdom, greatness is measured by humility, sacrifice, and servanthood. The happiest people are often those who have learned to serve selflessly because they have tapped into the deep well of joy that comes from fulfilling God's purpose for their lives. When we serve others, we are not just meeting their needs, we are also aligning ourselves with God's heart. Jesus himself said, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10.45 As we follow his example, we find that serving is not a burden but a privilege and it brings us into deeper intimacy with God. Thinking like a servant requires a shift in mindset and a change in attitude. It means embracing humility, self-denial, stewardship, and a Christ-centered identity. Real servants don't seek recognition or comparison. They faithfully carry out their responsibilities, trusting in God's purpose for their lives. As we follow the example of Christ, we will find that serving is not only a path to spiritual growth, but also a source of deep joy and fulfillment. Let us therefore cultivate the mind of a servant and live in a way that honors God and reflects his love to the world. Today's prayer, Lord Jesus, I come before you today with a heart ready to serve. Help me to think like a servant just as Jesus did. Teach me to humble myself, to focus on others and to let go of my own desires. Guide my steps in obedience to your will and help me steward the gifts you've entrusted to me faithfully. When challenges arise, give me the grace to serve without seeking recognition, but instead to glorify you in all that I do. Shape my heart, Lord, to be more like yours, and may my identity always rest in you alone. Amen. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day.
Pass Karis and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.